Hey guys, as you remember, we uh, talked about uh, register, uh, login, and logout, and so on. So now we should uh, validate to request uh, to enter the values from the uh, form. Uh, the register form is, I think, the good practice for us, and I'm going to show you how to val validate your. Uh, form values now let's do that and as you remember we define a root for register here and let's go to the register controller and as you see there is no validation here we uh, we create here a, a happy pad everything is okay and name email and password is coming all good but not in the uh, real life it goes like that so we should validate this request here name is required and email is required at the same time, it, is, it should be in a mail type and password should be required minimum six character and confirmed. And let's test it. When I click the sign up button, as you see, our uh, validation rules worked and he redirect back uh, us so uh, I have already defined these uh, front-end uh, stuff before so it it doesn't matter when you didn't uh, define these fields for in the front-end side it's not important you can write at the top of the uh, form uh, you can display errors in Laravel documentation you can see how to display the errors and when you refresh the page you that you will see the all uh, validation errors disappear because uh, Laravel uh, keep these validation errors as a flush session so when you refresh the page it will be disappearing so you will not see anything anymore and let's click sign up yes you see there are many validation errors here and let's test the different passwords here and I write here uh, something and right here another thing so these are not matching let's test it the password confirmation does not match and our validation is working fine but uh, I think this is not a good way uh, to define everything inside a controller maybe you can extend your a request with a, a request clause and I'm gonna create a, a register request uh, class php artisan make request register request yes and Laravel 
uh, has created for us a request uh, class. Uh, it extends form request, and here there is a method rules. Uh, these re this request uh, class has um, has uh, a lot of features, but I will not uh, explain all of them, all of that. Uh, you can uh, go and see many features of this class in the Laravel documentation. I will just show you how to validate our form fields here and I will move all validation from here to inside our rules method. Yes. That's all for uh, defining our rules, validation rules here, and it will check name required, email required, and email password, password confirmation for all rules. He will it will check for us, and if there is an error, uh, it will return back, and it is, I think, very very cleaner way to do that. And your controller is uh, more clear. I will write here. Uh, I will change a little bit here. Register request form. And I just changed here request to register request. Now our register request will automatically work and check these rules. And there is an, another method here, you, you can see that this authorize method is working for some authorization process for this request. If, uh, if you want to uh, pretend to users uh, doing something in these requests, you can define something here. I'm just returning true in this method. and. He will pass here and it will ignore this method uh, for that uh, process. And let's check it and go here again. Let's try it. The name field is required as you see. And on the other hand, you can add a new. Uh, method here messages and you can return for example name required and you can customize error messages here for example if the name required field is not filled properly and you can write here uh, you should Enter your name. Can okay. add some funny. Oops. You should enter your name. And let's go on. Email required. Email is strange. And for example, uh, the passwords does not match. We can write something uh, different for uh, to your language. Uh, please confirm your password. And let's check it. For example, I didn't. Everything is okay, but I uh, enter the f name, and oops, you should enter your name. I should see this message. Oops, you should enter your name. Yes, it works fine. And 
if I write uh, an inconvenience email here, the email must be a valid email address. Yeah, we didn't change it for email type, so we can add it. Hey there, what a bad email. Hey there, what a bad email. Yes, you can see our uh, message here. I think you got the point. I think it's fine for that for tutorial. So thank you for listening to me.